Hey folks, welcome back. Working with Pages. This time we're going to talk about adding and removing columns. Now we're going to get into some of the more advanced techniques of working with a Bootstrap uh, template framework. Um, let's just jump into Dreamweaver and take a look at a couple of example pages here. In our Pages folder for this particular template, we have a one column. All right, and then we have something over here, like we have the, the Home 2 page. Let's just preview both of these pages on our browser so we can take a look at the difference. And then talk about some ways of moving columns from one page to another. So let's just preview these first in Firefox. All right. So here's sort of an example of, uh, the, this is the Home 2 page. Let me get that to fit here. You know, we have the header. Then down below we have a bit of a content section. Then we got this sort of a cool looking content area here. Right, and then we go down below, and we've got a you know a bit of text. We got a picture, a bit of a right column over here with a you know, a little bullet list and some text. Right, and we go keep going down, and we have the you know heading, content, picture sort of layout followed up with uh, some paragraphs here split into two rows here. Now the cool thing about uh, these these frameworks are we can grab sections from one page and paste it into another right and to do that for example we would go open up both pages in our editor and we would go find that section and copy it from one to another but let's take a look at our one column just as an example here first here's a typical one column just a big block of text in the middle of the page paragraph fantastic use for lots of content okay so if you don't need a lot of pictures and whatnot the one column is probably going to be a popular choice if you just want to get content out there but if you want to mix it up a little bit and provide different types of information on your page this is where we need to do a little bit of copying and pasting right typically we do provide some different layout choices and you can make them work for yourself but if you need a particular bit of a layout from one page you can copy it and paste it into another keep in mind a little bit more on the advanced side so uh, it takes a little bit of practice okay so how this works is we go to the page where we want to copy the snippet of content from so let's go and uh, open up our home to page let's just pop it into the design window scroll down and I'm gonna get rid of this visual aids we don't need any visual aids while we're we're working here okay and let's say we want to copy this particular section here. We see we have the Meet the Teachers, and we've got the uh, section on the right over here. It's kind of hard to see if I don't with the uh, size of the video window, but we want this section right here, okay, where we have the uh, sort of more of a two column with a right column over here. We want to copy that into our one column page. Well, what we would do here is we just sort of find where that would start, and typically it starts with some sort of a a title, you know, a, a, a title tag up here, a heading tag of some sort. Just put your cursor in there so we can switch over to the uh, the code view for a second, right? And what we're looking for is this puppy right here. See this div class container fluid, right? Whenever you see the container fluid followed by the container and the row fluid, that's an entire snippet, entire row of code that you can copy from one product or one page into another okay so what we're looking for is this div class of container so we basically just put our cursor here go down to our quick tag selector and I'm gonna just open up my properties panel as well All right so we put our cursor right here in the word class or double click on container fluid it doesn't really matter but we're looking for this div container of fluid we click that to select the entire snippet of code okay and it's a good chunk right so we grab the whole thing like so and we copy it then we go to our one column page All right we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna put that into the design mode I'm gonna get rid of my visual aids because we really don't need them when the page is already designed and let's say for example I want to put that particular block that layout above this title clock this uh, this main section right here so I just sort of find the title tag the text up here click on it to um, switch to code view which gives me a sort of points me to where I want to get to and if I look up I see the div container fluid container and row fluid and these are the three classes that always start out an entire block of code right we want to go above that and we want to paste our new the code we copied from the home too 
right? So we just put our cursor above the container fluid, and then we paste. Boom. I'm just going to switch back to the design view. Scroll up. Oh, so far, so good. Okay. Whole block of code copied in there, and then we've got our one column down below. So let's just save this page, and let's preview it in a browser here. And let's just scroll on down. Okay, so we've got the, you know, the right column over here. We've got the pictures and the columns goes down. Then we've got a little more chunk here. Then we've got the one column. Perfect. That's what we wanted. We wanted this entire sort of, you know, paragraph with picture and a right column over here to start with. And then we have some content down below. Now we can start deleting certain chunks if we didn't want certain chunks of information in here. And to do that, we'll just go back to Dreamweaver. Now we can have a little bit of fun because what you can do is using your design view and your quick tag selector in combination, you can start to grab entire bits of information and pull them out. For example, if I put my cursor anywhere in this title tag, I can just sort of go down here to my quick tag selector and start selecting bits and pieces. You see, as I, I click here, it'll look a little bit more obvious when I actually have, uh, if you have more room here. So if I expand this out, you'll see that you can actually start to read these a little bit better now, right? So uh, where is my example, All right? Let's say we want to get rid of uh, this one block over here. Well, I put my cursor and I can start to sort of work my way across. And when I click on the div span six, it, it highlights that section. When I go to the row fluid, it, get, it highlights the entire section. So if I just move back to the div span of six and hit delete, Boom, look at that, it's gone. Now this moves the entire chunk over, okay? So if I put my cursor in here, oh look, another div span of six. Now I'm gonna tell you how Bootstrap works. If we go to the code view for a second, when you see a, something like a span of six, right? We're working on a 12 column grid. Six is half of 12 columns, right? Six is half of 12. So if we were to change the six to 12, that would make up the entire width of the page. So when you think about a span 12, that's the entire width of the page. Span six is half the width of the page. All right, let's just uh, save that and go back to our design view and see what happens. Now the entire paragraph has moved over to take up the entire width of the page. So these are just some of the things we can do. And, and if you actually go to the Bootstrap site and uh, read up on um, working with the uh, spans and the columns and whatnot, you can get a real good, idea, real good idea of how you can really manipulate things. But we've tried to include or do a lot of this for you ahead of time. And uh, we'll probably be posting quite a few more articles on how to uh, create different combinations of rows and columns and pages while working with Bootstrap, especially for our uh, advanced developers. But um, like I said, it, this is more of the advanced side. But as long as you understand that you have the flexibility um, and it may be there's a learning curve to it, but you can create some fantastic layouts using the existing framework that we provided in the template.